you guys welcome back to another video it's just about 1 45 kind of kicking off this vlog a little bit later today but i have some work to get done so i was doing that this morning and then my friend called me and was like want to go to a coffee shop and just work together for a bit I'm like of course i feel like i go to coffee shops at least like two or three times a week probably like how often do you spend money on coffee don't worry i do not overspend on my coffee extravaganzas but i will say it's funny because this month i've definitely gone more often than usual i literally got an alert today on my phone from rocket money they're actually sponsoring today's video but rocket money is what i use to track my finances and take a very wide look or bird's eye view i guess of my spending and just i can see everything all in one place which i love rocket money helps you lower your bills track your finances your spending and also can help you manage your subscriptions which is huge i got an alert this morning saying that i've overspent on my budget this last month which is understandable because it was black friday i've done lots of holiday shopping as well so definitely done a little bit of overspending but i love to always create a budget too that's one of my favorite features with rocket money is i'm able to create a budget that just works well with my lifestyle and allows me to still have fun and spend my money in ways that i like to spend my money but also be conscious of what i'm planning for for my future so obviously in a couple of years i would love to buy a home specifically in florida that's like one of my major goals this next year to year and a half so i've also set up a smart savings account within the app so that every month it takes a chunk of money and puts it into that savings account and if you need to withdraw any time you can do that but i love it because i'm just comfortable knowing that i have that savings account that's being taken care of and every month chunk of money goes right there so it's great for planning your future and like i said just like lowering your bills managing your subscriptions which is why my dad has this app because you can easily cancel subscriptions he had been paying for i think two separate subscriptions one of them i don't even know what they had to do with like hunting and then i think we had another streaming service so he was like i'm canceling that getting rid of that like i've just been spending extra money on subscriptions that i didn't even know i was paying for so you can easily cancel those subscriptions right within the app very safely and securely so i definitely recommend you guys checking out rocket money you can actually get started today i'll leave my link on the screen you can head over to rocketmoney.com slash lauren snyder but i just wanted to share that with you guys because it truly it's been such a game changer in my spending and just tracking my finances just finished up some work and i have so much of my coffee left but honestly i was only in there for like an hour and a half to two hours because they don't have any outlets there which is such a bummer so i definitely won't be back there but the place that we were going to go to called craft cafe was actually closed they closed at three which was weird because we were there before three and the doors were already locked so i don't know what that was all about but i was kind of looking forward to trying out that place but i just got some buddy brew at oxford exchange buddy brew is one of my favorite coffees though so not complaining but i'm actually gonna go run to the mall and do a little bit of last minute christmas shopping i want to check out lulu there's an outfit that my dad wants so or like he's joggers but my dad is so freaking tall he's six six and lulu does not really have many options for a man who's six six and a bigger guy like he's got some length on him so i always have to like shop in store and then end up ordering what he needs online because i always have to get like tall and not everything that lulu sells isn't tall so i'm gonna check out aloe also for him just in case because i feel like aloe does like suit more taller people at least for me i feel like a lot of their clothes fit me really well because i do have like longer legs and i'm i guess i'm a little bit taller i don't know five seven five eight but anyways that's kind of the plan and then i need to find a gift for my mom she really wants a robe so i'll find her like a cozy bathrobe or something because i do not want to wait till i get back home to minnesota because it will be crunch time by the time i'm home so i just want to knock everything out right now so i'm thinking nordstrom or Macy's, but Macy's gives me a lot of anxiety, okay? I don't know what it is, but I think it's just too overcrowded, so anytime I go into a Macy's, I'm like instant stress. It's just too much going on. I like Nordstrom because it's like more organized, you know? popped into aloe because i'm finding my dad a christmas gift but i saw this little cardigan look at how cute that is i'm obsessed this bag is so stunning i've had my eye on this for literally like the last year it's so pretty 
I just wrapped up at the mall, clearly had quite a successful shopping trip, ended up wrapping up all the Christmas gifts, so good to go on that. I feel so accomplished now because I was kind of stressing about getting a few last minute things, but we got all of the goodies right over there. I'm so excited about everything that I got because Christmas shopping for people is like one of my favorite things ever, especially when like they don't give you any ideas of what they want and you truly just think about like things that just remind you of them that's one of my favorite things about getting people gifts is it's just like something when you receive you're like oh my god you saw this and it like made me think of you type of thing but now i'm gonna go home back to my apartment make some dinner also i really need to clean my apartment because it is chaotic it's not really messy in like the living room and kitchen area it's more so my bedroom and my closet which has been kind of overwhelming me because i did laundry the other day and instead of folding everything i just put it on the floor in my closet that's the one downfall about having my washing machine in there is sometimes I'm feeling a little lazy instead of folding all of my stuff I'll just take it out and put it on the crown which is not good but yeah I gotta do a little bit of cleaning and then kind of chill out for the night also I smell so good right now because I just sprayed on this like Prada perfume when I was in Nordstrom oh my gosh I'm always on the hunt for new perfumes I just love scents so much and that one smells really good the catch is if it's gonna stay on me and last because last year for Christmas I got this Delilah perfume so good definitely a very luxurious perfume but it did not last on me and I was bummed because it smells so 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 good but it lasts on my mom and my sisters it's something with like the oils or something in your skin sometimes perfumes like can't really stay with some people and some people it works I don't know Now into cleaning up the bedroom. Honestly, my room is not as messy as I thought it was. I was being a little overdramatic about the bedroom, but the closet on the other hand, it definitely looks like a tornado went through it. So that is definitely needing to be cleaned. But I'm gonna take care of all of these clean clothes, hang them up, fold them. Honestly, I don't know how they ended up on the floor. Probably because I have the habit of setting things on this chair. If you have a chair in your room, you probably do something quite similar. It becomes the everything chair. I'll set my purse on there, my clothes, random like shopping bags, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I need to stop doing that. But it's kind of useful sometimes, <laughs> not gonna lie. And then I cleaned my duvet cover yesterday, so I need to put that back on, make my bed. I know you're probably like, you're literally gonna go to bed in 10 minutes, why are you making your bed? But I don't even care what time of day it is, I have to get into like a freshly made bed at night. It just makes me feel so good, so cozy, and also when I make my bed, makes the room look so much more clean. So I'm gonna take care of that and then wipe down all of the surfaces in my bedroom. So dresser, tidy up the desk area. This is where I always get my work done. And then also here's the closet. This is what's like really stressing me out in my apartment right now because it just feels so cluttered in here. It's gonna help once I have all these clothes folded and hung up and like the towels put away and everything. This is all clean, fresh from the dryer. I also have freshly washed whites that I'm gonna fold and hang. And then this bin, that needs to go down to my car. I'm donating this tomorrow. All of these clothes I'm gonna take over to Goodwill because this was times three, you guys. Like there were so many clothes in this pile. My sister, like I said, sifted through so many things, took home lots of stuff, and this is just like the remnants of what she didn't end up taking. So I'm not even going to bother listing anything or like dropping the price on my Poshmark. I just want it gone and out of my apartment because this bin has been in here since the day I moved in and it's only been getting 
taller and taller with clothes. So we're gonna drop this big thing off tomorrow at Goodwill. That's like top priority on my to-do list. Also, I'll probably refold some of the clothes up there because it's getting a little too stacked and I don't like that because again, it makes it look overcrowded and everything. So a little bit of decluttering here, but more so just cleaning and folding some things up. Just like that, the closet is clean. It looks so much better in here. I'm really glad I ended up getting that done tonight because I wanted to take care of that since it was looking horrendous. And now my room is all cozy. Got my red light on and I'm gonna head to bed quite soon. I'm just going to shower, take off my makeup, and then we'll head to bed. It's so much later. It's like 12.30 right now. Cleaning took me a lot longer than I thought. I was gonna watch some YouTube and just chill for a bit, but I'm so tired. some pre-workout I'm about to head down to my apartment gym get a workout in today I'm either gonna do full body or legs I haven't decided yet I woke up a little bit tired this morning because I woke up around 7 15 and I wanted to sleep in a little bit because I didn't go to bed until like 1 and that was my own doing because obviously I got in the mode of deep cleaning my apartment yesterday or not really deep cleaning it but more so like cleaning up the bedroom and the closet. The closet took me longer than I thought, but it felt so good this morning to wake up to a nice, fresh clean apartment. That's one of my favorite things. And I wanted to sleep in a little bit, but didn't get the chance to. So I just spent some time journaling, planning my day, doing that kind of thing. Cause not gonna lie, I've lost kind of like the habit of journaling a little bit. I remember yesterday, I opened up my journal for the first time, realized it had been a month since I've taken the time to do gratitude and just ra randomly like free write usually. Cause recently I've just been feeling, I don't know how to describe it. I feel like many of us kind of get this way when we consume a lot of social media or especially during this time of year, it's so easy to compare yourself to other people. Maybe people are sharing their New Year's goals and everything that they accomplished this year or all of the goals and plans they have for the upcoming year. And it can be quite overwhelming because then inherently you just like look at your own life and think, oh my God, I accomplished nothing this year compared to who or what I'm seeing on social media. And it's really easy to get wrapped up into that comparison mindset. And comparison is truly the thief of joy. As simple and easy as that saying is, it rings incredibly true. I was listening to a podcast yesterday, actually, on my way to the mall by Ed Milet, one of my favorite podcast hosts. I'll leave his show linked down below for you guys, but it was an episode talking about the seven symptoms of self-sabotage. Let me tell you, that episode hit too close to home. I was like, dang, this is really making me look internally and realize that a lot of these symptoms that he's mentioning, I do. I really do get in that mindset sometimes where I'll compare myself so much to what I see online and you don't even realize that what you see is so, so, so like such a smidgen of their life. Even if they're making it seem very raw and authentic, it is still maybe like a smidgen or even like maybe a little bit played up. You know what I mean? Like it's not truly, it will never truly be the most authentic real thing ever. And people choose what they want to share. So if something doesn't look all good and dandy, they probably won't share it. And that's something that I constantly have to remind myself is like, I am on my own path. I'm on my own journey. I'm content and I remind myself of that. Like 
I have everything that I need. I'm right where I need to be. So don't compare myself to everything I see online or people I see online. So I think that's a solid reminder. And I wanna do like a whole podcast episode about it. I think I've done one because it's seriously just like one of those topics of conversation that I could have for hours on end because I've dealt with it so much throughout my life. Obviously being on social media, it's so hard not to compare myself or my content to other people or when I see other people blow up within a day or a week and I'm like, I've been working at this for 10 plus years at this point probably. So it's really easy to, you know, get down on myself or fall in that comparison mindset. But I'm like, I have my people. I generally enjoy what I do. I generally enjoy my content and sharing my life with you guys. So I should just be at peace with that and not feel the need to change or do anything different to attract a abundant amount of followers or whatever the case is or like live my life in a way that's not authentic or true to me to get to a certain point you know what i mean so i don't know that was kind of a ramble but just wanted to i guess share with you guys one of my new year's goals like heading into this year is to just be more conscious and aware of the accounts that i follow and mindful of how i'm consuming social media and be very like have stricter boundaries with it because I like to think I have boundaries, but at the end of the day, I really don't think I have the best relationship with it sometimes. So I just want to have a more healthy balance with it and really be conscious of what I'm consuming and who I'm following and everything. There's mute buttons for a reason, like take advantage of it, you guys. But all that to say, we're going to head down to the gym now, get the workout in, start off the morning. I've had a great chill morning, which I've been loving and I'm in a very good mood. So that's nice. Like I said, journaling truly does make all the difference and adds that little burst of positivity at the start of your day, which I'm all about. This weather makes me want to just lay in bed all day today and be cozy because it's so dreary out. So incredibly windy too. We're getting a huge storm tomorrow with strong winds and lots of rain. So I feel like this is the prequel to that. But I just got to Target. I'm going to run to Target and then also drop off my donations at Goodwill. I made a list of everything that I need. I've been doing this recently while I've been going to Target because it helps me stay on track with what I need and I'm not tempted to roam around, waste time or money, just adding things that I think I need to my cart. So kind of a random haul. I need to get some spray and wash, some gum, balsamic vinegar for my salads, countertop spray, because the one that I have right now, I don't know what it is, but it like leaves my counters streaky. I'm like, this does doesn't really clean my countertops like it probably does but it doesn't look super sleek and shiny which I like so I want to wait or I want to get the Miss Myers clean day because that one also smells so 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 good and like smells up my entire apartment so I'm gonna get some new countertop spray some gum and then I'm pretty sure that's it I think there was one more thing that I needed but I can't remember right now it'll probably come to me but I like have run out of a lot of my cleaning supplies oh floor cleaner that's what it was. And now we are good to go. Tonight for dinner, I'm going to make quite possibly the most simple meal ever and you can make it in like under 60 seconds so i'm gonna use this trader joe's delicious chopped salad kit i just opened this i tried this when i was visiting home in minnesota my sister got it and oh what my goodness this is such a good salad kit but it has no protein in it so i'm gonna use this rotisserie chicken i always like to get a rotisserie chicken from costco because it's easy to just throw on top of salads for some added protein and stuff And there you go, literally the most easy, simple meal, and it's so good. Adding the rotisserie chicken to the salad was the best idea because obviously it gives it like added protein and it's so good. Like the flavors with the rotisserie chicken, the bomb. I had this for the first time, like I said, when I was back home in Minnesota, but my sister didn't put chicken on it. It was just like the salad kit itself. But this might be my new current fixation meal because I love it. I decided we're gonna have a very cozy Friday night in. I do feel like I'm getting a little bit sick, so 
Today when I was running errands at Target, I picked up some cold and flu medicine. So I'm gonna take some medicine, read for a little bit, and let this face mask marinate on my skin. My skin's been extra dry too, just because it's been a little bit chillier here. But I'm almost done reading the Green Lights book. I was reading a little bit of it while I was eating dinner. And honestly, it made me tear up. It's so stinking cute. The part that he talks about how he met his wife and there were just like so many solid like life advice type of things. And one thing about me is I'm not big into like pop culture. Like I don't really know a lot about celebrities or anything like that. Like probably the top movie stars could walk in front of me and I would have no idea who they are. But it's just kind of interesting reading Matthew McConaughey's story. I know like or I did know nothing about him prior besides the fact that he was in um is it 50 first dates or how to lose a guy in 10 days one of the two <laughs> see I like know nothing about movies and actors and actresses but his story is really cool and I feel like there's definitely little chunks within the book that really just like hit home like piece of advice that he has to share and you're like okay wow even the people who have like the most successful life from an outsider perspective and who seem to be thriving like everyone has their own individual battles and everything isn't as good as it always seems you know like the grass we always think the grass is greener on the other side but that's not always the case anywho a random tangent i'm going to wind down for the night relax take some medicine and probably head to bed so i'm going to end off this vlog here i hope you guys enjoyed this video i love you all so much and i'll see you in the next vlog bye